Sup dudes, it's Snail. It's time for part 2 of the Fallout 4 mod gauntlet, and if you haven't seen part 1, you can find it here or in the description. But to recap, I play from the beginning of the game to the castle with one condition. Every time I heal, I install a new mod. Last time, we gathered 24 mods, and just to name a few, in just 2 hours, we became a toilet, killed a deathclaw without any power armor, made everything green again, made baby Sean into our power fist, added a couple dozen cursed NPCs to fight, made enemies smarter, and we made ghouls scarier. If my PC crashes twice, I lose. If I liberate the castle, I win. If you play Fallout 4, I highly recommend at least trying this once. This was a lot of fun, and it helped me find some of the most niche mods I've ever seen. I posted the mod collection in the description as well, so if you want any of these mods, click that and you'll be able to play it for yourself. Now without further ado, it's go time. So we start part 2 from where we left off in part 1, running through a forest as a toilet with our son on our arms and beating the crap out of random dogs. Oh my god! My son's head is like extra hard, I just ruined that kid. The baby is crying? Yeah, the baby cries every time I hit hit something with him. We were on our way to clear the National Guard training yard of any of the ghouls that were there. But along the way we encountered a mod for the first time. What the f the Happy Bee Raider. Yeah, the Raiders have uh, Happy Bee suits, by the way. Once we got to the National Guard training yard, we dispatched the ghouls that were outside with relative ease. Though we did end up adding four more mods to the load order. Fuck it, we'll install four more mods. I really don't care, dude. We landed on these four mods. We brightened the night sky up with a little bit of Bob Ross. We made road textures bigger, darker, and thicker with dilapidated roads charcoal. We made nighttime darker by a lot with darker nights. And we made our loading screens funnier with OMG Do Not Read. The fat man is perhaps the best way to say f*** you to your intended target. So we booted back in and I watched the Steamboat Willy intro we picked up last video and yeah, that's, that's the full cartoon, yeah. Next we got inside the National Guard training yard building. Now Sean usually cries when I use him to hit things, but I really don't blame him for crying when I use him to hit these ghouls. These things are ugly. Decay 2.2 really did a number on these ghouls. I'm just a toilet man with a baby for a fist. Come on, punch him! Oh, I think I ripped one of their arms off. That's right, step up to me and my boy. My son, literally his head, will f***ing destroy any ghoul. Well, get away from me. Have you tried getting good? Two mods. Have I tried getting good? Obviously not. Wait, what do you think? I play video games because I'm good? No, I play video games because I'm literally stupid. After all was said and done, we informed the settlement of our success and used our gleaming porcelain to intimidate them into joining the Minutemen. Ella, you and the Minutemen have our gratitude. Mission complete. Now the next step, as we've been following throughout the last video, was to speak to Preston and see what else he has for us to do. I think it's time to retake the castle. We literally just unlocked the castle, that's fuck- Oh my god, bro! So it turns out we have a lot less of this than I thought we did. We just have to do this, beat the Mirelurk Queen, and then we're good to go. That's right, we finally got the castle quest. The stage was set, but first, I needed two things. New weapons and ammo. And for these, I needed to make a pit stop in Diamond City and do some shopping. So I did my best to skip all distractions in every scripted event, and made a beeline directly for Arturo weapon shop. I'm the new guy. Yo, it's an armor-piercing RPG? Fuck yeah, we're taking that. Yeah, here's the RPG. Now, Arturo didn't have enough rockets, and I'd rather have too much than not enough. So I made sure that I stopped in Sanctuary to craft more rockets when I noticed nuclear rockets were actually an option. So I crafted a ton of those, and thus began my journey to the castle. I don't really feel like fighting raiders and shit. So we're just gonna walk around everything. Time's up! Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the RPG splash damage was really underwhelming. Okay, then. So I had no choice but to once again weaponize my infant son. Okay, four mods. Five. Fuck it. We'll make it an even number. 
Yo, the RPG kind of sucks. Like, it's not good. We actually did end up finding the castle. Alright, where is it? But here's the thing. At the time, I actually didn't realize it was the castle. Normally, this entire area is completely wide open, and the castle is a very prominent landmark right on the edge of the cliff. But in the last video, we installed a forest, which introduces over 150 years of wild growth to the Boston area. So not recognizing where I was, I decided to fit a little more father-son bonding time into my evening. This is what death looks like up close! How dare you block my son? You can trust me. Where is this kid? Right here? Bro! Oh my fucking god! We ended up all the way back at Sanctuary after dying. Knowing what I know now about the RPG, I made sure to make some more rockets, because I knew that we were definitely going to need them at the castle. Especially if they're that weak. We were ready, and the castle was right in front of us. It was time to speak to Preston one last time to get the strategy and get the party started. Everyone's here, General. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most opposition. Just get in there and hit them with everything we've got. Oh shit, oh shit, okay, Sean, come out. What I didn't account for was these new Meyer Lurk enemies added by M's these Abomination. Guys, why do these guys look like they're ready to box? The entire challenge, we've seen some crazy new enemies, but these take the cake for sure. Not only do they hit hard enough to destroy my porcelain throne, what the fuck? But they have incredible damage resistance. Where Sean would easily put Happy Bee Raiders down for a dirt nap with one swing, Meyer Lurtons would tank three or four hits, giving them ample time to follow up and and vibe check me. What the f So eventually, I just started blasting. Okay, whatever. I still died twice to user error, but eventually we fought our way through, cleared the courtyard, and started on some late-term abortions. Another one for the minute, man. Now, it's probably important that I show you this next bit, because it explains a lot of the following gameplay. Bro, just... Oh my god. Bullet physics and pathing fucking sucks in Fallout 4. Like, holy shit is it terrible. Like, look at this absolute fucking nonsense here. Okay, to prove my point, right? I'm not gonna aim at them. None of those hit, which is good. Now I'm gonna aim at them. None of them are hitting anyways. I could be directly in front of a cluster of eggs, start mag dumping, and one out of 12 bullets actually makes contact with any of the eggs. Dude, it's right in front of me. How am I not fucking hitting Like, it's not even landing within my reticle. Why is it landing all the way over there? Like, this is a physical impossibility from where I'm pointed. By the way, it's not better if you aim down sights. Often it makes the exact same stray pathing you'd get in hip fire where mode. Where is this bullet impacting? What the f- I, I'm literally losing my mind doing this. Oh my god, just what let me punch the shit out of these guys. I, I'm, I'm tired of doing this. We'll do this instead. So now consider that the RPG is also technically a ballistic weapon. This means that during my fight with the Myrlar Queen, I kept missing. Okay, I missed, I guess. And dying. What the? And missing. And dying. Oh my fucking god. And missing and dying once again. So not only do I need to start the fight from the beginning, but I need to kill the eggs all over again. This is because she only spawns when you kill enough eggs. And you can probably tell, this became really, really tedious. This. Look where my, my, my bullet... Shut the f*** up, Preston! All in all, it took three attempts of me shooting, missing, dying... Uh, no, never mind. We are not good. I fucking died. Like a bitch. Raging. Please, Preston, like, fucking take care of these guys. And then it finally happened. Alright, let's see. Can we finally do something? Nope, because my rocket's gonna go in a completely different direction. Yeah, just walk the complete other way, I guess. She's almost dead. Okay, I missed. Oh 
my god, dude. Fuck. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you liked the video. Hit like if you didn't like it. Dislike it. I'm Snail. Take care. Brush your hair. And this is a preview what of the, the next video. Here? This is a little terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I just threw a Nukemon ball. Oh my god, he's in my inventory. No idea what this does, but let's see. Propulso 5000. <laughs>